Yes, bar cords are tricky. Yes, they take time. Yes, they're sore on your hand. And yes, changing bar cords can be hard. In today's lesson, I'm gonna show you one main secret to speeding up your bar cord changes. So stick around. Before I share it, I just wanna share the backstory. So I was teaching a student lately and we we're talking about bar cord changes. Now, it often comes up, once you're playing a bar chord, great. However, next thing is like, how do I like change between this shape and this shape? And my hands are sore and how? So basically, I realized something in that lesson that in the past 10 years, I was doing unconsciously and I was teaching unconsciously to one level. And as soon as I shared this with the student, their bar chord changes sped up without any extra practice and without any extra like work and playing it for ages. It was a simple tweak in how they thought about it. So there are three main lessons behind this secret. Lesson number one is not all learning takes place by drilling and practicing and going hard, you know? It can take place by observing how you're processing the fretboard. So let's take our E major bar chord to our D major bar chord. For a lot of people watching, it just looks like I'm on one shape, I play the next. Now, here's tip number one. Treat your bar chords as if you're driving. I'll repeat that again. Treat your bar chords as if you're driving. What do I mean? Well, when you're driving, let's say you're here, and you want to go to the next bar chord shape. Look at that position on the fretboard in advance. Visualize the bar chord shape being there. And right now as I'm strumming this, I'm looking at where I'm gonna place the next bar chord shape. I am not looking at my current shape. So give that a go. That is tip slash lesson number one. Lesson number two is as you're looking at your fingers, Check in with yourself. Which one of your fingers are you mostly focusing on? If you want to hit pause on the video, grab your guitar and give this a go with me, do so. Or if you want to do it afterwards, that's cool too. So let's say you're on this G major bar chord. Strumming it, looking at it. Well, what finger do you think I'm looking at? Post a comment below, take a guess. I'm looking at my middle finger. Many players will report different things. My student that day said a particular finger and when we swapped the finger, all of a sudden their bar chord change sped up. You might be wondering why. Well, when you think about it, we have the main thing that we're focusing on with our fingers, but peripheral vision is something that isn't thought about in guitar. Now, Let's say peripheral vision, very basic explanation here. If I'm focusing right here, I can still see things each side of what I'm staring at. Like for example, I can pick up a bit of this hand on this side and a bit here. Now, if you transition that to your bar chord shape and you look at your middle finger on your bar chord shape, notice how you can still see your index finger and this pair of fingers. You're focused on the middle one, but your eyesight is picking up the ones each side. Which means as of that moment, you're picking up all your fingers through the bar chord shape. You have a greater awareness. So you're on that. Now, the trick here is look at the exact same finger when you change chord shape. Look at your middle finger yet again, because you'll get the index finger and the other two fingers again. In terms of processing, the thing about that is, well, think of that versus this, and this is the third lesson. It's that we overload ourselves with all these extra jobs to do with our bar cards and our plane. And before we know it, we've eight like little mini actions done just to play our bar chord shape that delayed us getting there in the first place. So does this maybe look familiar? You might've done this in the beginning, you might be doing it right now, or you might actually have seen somebody doing it this way. So I'm on a bar chord, now watch this. I'm already looking here. Checking in, now watch this. Looking here, here, here. 
It might only look as if I move my head, but all the info going in is delaying my chord change. And that's the third lesson. So here's what I'd like you to do right now. Go take a bar chord change you've been finding difficult. One that's been taking you a while to change. And look at your middle finger on it. And you might be in the habit of like looking around, just get your eyes and your head to be laser focused on the fretboard, on that middle finger. Strum once, look at where you need to go, look at the middle finger as you move. So I'm here, and I'm already visualizing my D shape or whatever bar chord shape you want, and middle finger, and strum. No looking down here, no double checking stuff, just give it a go. And let me know in the comments below how this bar chord trick has worked for you. So, to summarize, we talked about how you can have a surface level problem, such as a bar chord change, not working out. However, we learned that if you look at a different finger, you can activate your peripheral vision, which can help you change far faster, rather than double check everywhere around the fretboard. We also learned that treating it like driving, or treating it even like playing soccer, where somebody's running up the wing with the ball, and they don't just run up to the top and then go, okay, what do I do now? I think I'll pass. They're always looking at what's up ahead. So always be thinking of your next chord in advance, visualizing it, picturing it on the fretboard and moving towards it. And our third lesson was that we learned that sometimes you don't need to like to drill it, drill it, drill it, drill it. What was that Einstein quote? Like insanity is the definition of doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So we're changing our approach. And as for how that student got on with their bar chord, they got on really well, like all of a sudden the change was working. Now, it won't magically make the bar chord super duper fast up to whatever standard you might want. However, it's gonna get you up a few notches on the way towards what you want. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. And if you wanna check out more bar chord tips, I have a very detailed blueprint of how to break down your beginner guitar playing. You can check that up above. In the meantime, if you wanna check out another video, I'd suggest you check out this one.